Hey everybody, it's Rory from ANS Gear, and we've got a TR50 up here, which we've done videos on in the past, but what we haven't done is the brand new valve. So this is the 11 Joule upgrade valve. And when we were shooting this the other day with rubber um, reusable ball or the home defense ball, the rubber 50 cal ball, it was shooting about 480 feet per second, which is crazy fast. This definitely cannot be used for paint, so don't even think about trying to put paintballs in it because it will just destroy them. Um, but this is the install video on how to do it, how to put it in there. Um, because we've already done videos with this on just the gun in general. So this is just gonna be about putting it together. So we've got a gun here. We're gonna set it to the side and then we're gonna get to it. Um, so you've got, basically we're gonna work on the gun sitting on this side because all of our screws are all around here. We're going to remove the cap off the bottom just set that off to the side. Now to get all these screws out, I do have an electric drill with a, uh, I think this is like a number two or number one head on. I don't know, it's, it's very thin, very small. Um, and we're gonna pull all of our screws out with this one. So we're gonna do the screws and I'm gonna make sure that my screws stay in here. I'm gonna. I really don't want to lose any of them. This one always seems to want to come out, but I'm going to kind of just put it back in there. It's really the only long, long screw like that. We're going to just go work our way all the way around. Pulling the screws out, I don't have a problem really using the electric drill. When I go to put the screws in, I'm gonna start them with the drill and push them down, but then I'm gonna finish them up by hand because I don't wanna overdo them and I don't wanna strip anything out or cause any problems or anything like that. So, um, all right, here we go. Uh, one thing I probably should have done is remove the cartridge out of there. So I'm gonna feel around to the other side and just slide the lever back and drop the cartridge out just so it's not in there. And then I'm going to release the cartridge or the slide back over. And we've got it. So we've got all of our screws out from the top of our, or the right side of our frame assembly right here. Now from here, you wanna have a couple things. You wanna have a flathead screwdriver that's relatively small and thin, and then maybe a larger flathead screwdriver as well. So we're gonna work our way around and kind of wedge this into the crease that's all through the side here and all the way around and separate these two halves. I do not recommend picking it up and trying to manhandle it and pull it apart. You wanna be as ginger and gentle with these as you possibly can. There's no reason to get crazy with it. So I usually start up at the front and I look for a little opening where I can slide that in and then I'm gonna slide this in and then I'm gonna rotate, slide, rotate. And I'm just gonna work my way around until I can get everything lifted up. And sometimes they pop apart pretty easy like that. Sometimes you have to go around and around and around and around until you finally get it to come apart. I'm gonna set that over there. Now I've got the uh, left half of my shell. I've got the main components of the gun and I've also got the barrel and the uh, revolver release. I'm gonna get these two pieces out of here. I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna get this out the best I can. And I'm also gonna get this part out. The spring that you see right here, I can just lift that spring up and out of there. And then I can pull this piece out and I might be able to get that piece out. Might not be able to get that out until you've got the whole housing out. So again, I'm gonna work my way around until I can lift this, woo, this housing away and I can put that up over there. Now these two pieces, we're just gonna to set to the side because we will get back to them later and reinstall them. All right, so now we've got our meat, meat and potatoes right here. We've got a, a couple more screws to take off. And when we take these screws out, there is uh, one, two, three, four, five linkage assemblies inside here, which all have springs on them. 
if we take these screws out and just yank this thing apart, those are gonna go everywhere. They're tiny, you're not going to find them, and your gun will not work without them. So please be extremely careful when you're trying to put this, to either take it apart or put it back together that you don't lose anything. And I'm gonna point them all out to you so that you can see them and kind of show you how they fit in there. So if, when you take this apart, if things pop out, you can put them back in the right spot, hopefully. All right, so let's get our other screws out. So these ones, can come right out. Two, three, four. And these ones, I actually, we can just take these ones out because they're all the same length. If you need to put a little mark next to where they went, you can. Basically, you can, you can figure it out. The only one that's tricky is this hole right here at the top, second one or kind of third one over right here. This is for that really long one that's right here. This long screw that likes to stand up right there. It actually goes through that hole. So none of the small screws that we're taking out of this area will go into that hole. All right, I think I got them all. I did. All right. So now, again, what we're going to do, we're going to use a flathead screwdriver. We're going to go in and we're going to start just kind of turning it, tweaking it so that we can get it to go apart. And I usually start over here. I kind of work my way right there and then I'll come over to here, work my way. And this sometimes takes quite a while. This one I have opened before. And so it's a little bit easier to get apart. But again, it's not, it's not just popping open. And I'm just going to keep going around in circles. Slowly, slowly adding a little bit more. And you can see that it's, it's starting to open up right there. Oh, there we go. That was a good one. All right. Let's see if I can get this. Nope. I'm not going to go yet. All right, there it goes. So it's loose right now. And I can lift it up and move it over here. All right, so we've got our trigger. We've got like our sear right here, our trigger. It's the rocker on the trigger that only allows it to go certain directions. And then this mechanism right here is what turns the wheel. It turns your cartridge right there. And then this piece pops up at the bottom and kind of locks the wheel in place as well. And it all happens together when we pull the trigger. All right, so again, all of these have a little springy do on them. What we need to get out is this assembly right here so that we can put this assembly in. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna pull all these pieces out so that you can see where the springs are inside of there. This piece, just comes out there's no spring in it and it only goes in one direction if you take this thing out and try to flip it around it's, it's got oil on it so it's going to be all slippery and try to put it in this way it won't fit it will only fit in <laughs> like that so we don't have to worry about putting it in incorrectly when we put it in later so that goes on there this piece right here has a spring on it now this spring is right here and it makes it be able to move so i'm going to pull this piece up normally you could try to take this apart and none of this can come off of here that's possible but i want to show you how to put it together if it does come apart it's easy to show you how to do it it's hard to show you when there's a problem i want to try to solve the problems so let's just see that spring popped forward right there. See how big that spring actually is? And that spring is crammed into that tiny little slot right there. 
So it really wants to bounce out. So there's that one. Next, we're gonna pull out this one right here. And again, there's a spring that runs along this part right there, which pushes this part down. But there's also a spring on the back side, which when this goes up, it causes this arm to go this way. And so we're gonna take this spring out. We're gonna set it over here. We're gonna take this arm out and you can see this spring right here and it's a very thin tiny little spring that sits inside of there all right next we've got our trigger and our trigger has a very large spring on the back side of it looks like that the short end of the trigger faces the front the long end of or I'm sorry the short end of the spring faces the front of the trigger the long end of the spring faces the back of the trigger like that. And then we've got this assembly right here. Now this is the trickiest one I think for putting this in and out because when this assembly is in here, it holds this in quite nicely. As soon as this comes out, this will want to wiggle and go all over the place. So we don't want to mess with this um, without this piece being inside of here. Um, so let's get a hold of that. All right. So we're going to take the, um, I'm going to take the spring out for the moment. So this spring sits right in here and it's a crazy one. This spring and this assembly will come undone when you try to remove this out of here. So that is a given. You can't get around it. So I'm taking it out early and setting it to the side, and then I will go back to put it in. Now, the last thing to, to kind of deal with right here is we can lift this up and move it over here is this. So this main big spring you see right here is compressed uh, tremendously right now. So we're going to kind of wiggle this piece out of here. I'm going to get this piece and I'm going to kind of try to lift this up. I'm going to work my way around here, getting all those pieces out like that. You can see that shoot out of there. I got to find that piece. You got it? There it is. So right here, you can see how much load this spring was under right here. This is just crazy. All right. So when this is in here, and it's compressed down. You see how far I have to compress that to get that to sit down in there? Normally when I'm lifting it up, I can get it up just enough where I can then push it out by hand. So you, that's why all this stuff is so easy to lose it. So just please be careful when you're doing this. Again, flying away on me. Luckily, I've got a nice big workspace here and I'm not going to lose anything. So there we go. That's the hardest part right there. Getting that part out without destroying what's inside of here and then getting it back together. All right, so we've got this out now. This is our basic, our normal valve. We're going to remove two pieces, the bolt and the bumper off of this one. And we're just going to set that to the side. We're not going to need that anymore. Here's our new valve. Put our bumper and our bolt on there. We've got our spring and our uh, guide at the front right there. So we're going to take this new one. We're going to set it down in there. I don't want it to go too far down in because I need to compress this. And we're going to compress this all the way down. This is going to compress down to this depth right here. So compress that down and set it down in there. And I'm kind of just pushing this all in so it doesn't want to come apart. Perfect. Now we can go back reinstalling our parts right here. So this assembly, we're going to take that and we're going to drop it on here. Our spring that came out of this section, if we look closely at it, it has one long arm and one short arm. The long arm is going to go into the little 
triangle little cut right here. The short arm is going to rest against the bottom of this piece right here. So the easiest way to do that, I've found, is to set it on here first with the long part of the arm in its spot. So the long arm is rested in there and the spring, the short arm is over here. I need to get that short arm wrapped around here and pushed up to the front. So I'm going to use my finger. I'm going to hold it down so it can't go anywhere. So if it's my finger slips off, which it will do, it doesn't go shooting out anywhere. And then I'm going to push that around to the front. And it's going to take a couple times where I can get my finger and fingernail on there and pushed over. And there we go. All right, so the long arm is stuck up in there. The short arm is on the front side of this little ridge right here, causing it to be able to move like that. All right, secondly, we've got this piece and this arm. Remember our arm sits up inside of here and it goes into the bottom of this. So there's a hole right there, the back side, it's gonna snap together right there. Again, on this one, we've got a short arm and a really long arm over here. On the back of this long, thin one, there's a groove that runs down there. The long arm of the spring is gonna run inside of that groove. So we're gonna put that together. Remember this, we're looking at the back side of this right now. Just trying to get this spring to sit up in there. And then we'll put that in and make sure that sits in there. All right, so when we're putting this together, the spring is gonna go short arm against this piece and it kind of tucks behind this little like weird little notch right here. It's gonna sit behind that. The short arm does like that. So when it's just resting, the long arm kind of covers the hole of where this needs to go. So I'm gonna slide the, the spring out of the way and make sure that the long arm goes into that groove. And then I'm gonna put this down in there. Now our one spring that we have that's loosey goosey that's going to go down in there. And that pushes that one so that this can go up and down like that. And then this last one is going to come over here. And it's going to go on this like that. All right. So we've got our spring stuck in there, our spring on the back side of this one, this spring on the front side, this spring holding this together. And then lastly, the easiest one of all is just the trigger. The trigger, you don't really have to manipulate the spring as, anyway, as long as it's sitting right there, you just line up the post with the hole. And then everything should move In one unit. Don't want to do that too many times because every time you do it without this half on, this thing wants to come apart. So I'm going to push all my springs back into place. I'm going to take my top half receiver. And if everything is right, we should be able to just push everything back together. All right. Perfect. Now we're going to take our screws and I'm going to put my opposite ones kind of down right now so I can get everything kind of set into place. 
then I can come back around. That way I know anything's not going to launch out on me. Put that in there. That one in there. That one in there. That one. Nope, that one fell out. That one in there. And that one in there. I'm just going to bring those down to the end and I'm not going to try to really force them through. And then I'm going to go back through and do them by hand. So now I've got this one. Just make sure that everything is tight. Oop, and I can see that I forgot a part. I forgot that part. That part needs to sit inside there, and that is important. So we got to take this apart real quick. And that's going to happen. That is definitely going to happen. But luckily, we've got pretty much everything inside. So nothing should really come apart. You're going to see, though, how by just putting it back together, how hard it can be to get it apart sometimes. Now we're going to have to work our way back around again. Everybody forgets. So hopefully this is a reminder to you guys. Try not to forget. Because then you end up doing this. Go ahead and get that off of there. Get that one piece in that we forgot. All right, so we're gonna put this in and put this back on. And remember, you can't put that part in incorrectly. So, got my outsides. slip on this set so that I can't overdo it. So again, we talked about stripping screws out. We definitely don't want to do that. All right, now we'll come back in here. Just make sure everything is tight. All right, so now we're home free, basically. Drop this thing in here. Before we push it all the way down, uh, we wanna make sure that we can get these two pieces in. So our, um, this is our release for our uh, cartridge. And then this is the barrel that needs to slide. This spring, you kinda have to pull it back and get it behind that piece right there. So that allows our barrel assembly to kind of move back and forth like that. And then that's nice and tight inside there. And then we put our cap back on. And we can go ahead, go all the way around. Lots of screws. All right. We can pull that back, drop that in, release it, and put our bottom back on. And that's it right there. May seem like a lot, 
There's a lot of little springs to be careful with, so don't lose those. Take your time, get in there, go back through, tighten everything up by hand, make sure it's nice and secure. And that's it. That's the 11 Jewel, which man, does it, it packs a wall up. That's the 11 Jewel valve upgrade for the TR50. It's available through the website. You can buy it by itself. If you already have a TR50, you can buy it already installed and we'll do it for you like I just did today. Um, but it's something, let me tell you. Valve upgrades, 11 Jewel for the TR50, available at ansgear.com.